does a great job of driving down the field and then coming back. 12-yard pass play. Fourth down and four. You got to go for it. The first attempt at fourth down for Dwenger. That should do it. And I think Kimes got leveled after he released the ball, although it may be just the frustration. Kimes gets nailed. If we see the replay, we might be able to see Sexton come in. But... Uh, Needless to say, Ron Colley in great shape here with 38 seconds left to play. Here's Kimes on fourth down, and he gets whacked pretty good. And the ball, as a result, kind of sloppy looking. Didn't have any direction whatsoever. Unfortunate. Ron Colley takes a knee. Boy, last week it was Dwenger coming from behind to win in their semi-state game. And now Ron Colley with an impressive comeback, seconds away from a state championship. And there is a time to celebrate, isn't there, Barry? Yeah, there is. And uh, great battle. Great battle between two very, very tough teams. Another knee, and that's it. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't think I've heard this place this loud. <laughs> Look at them all over the field. It looks like the fans have swarmed the field, but it's actually the players' sideline just erupted, and, I mean, it was really incredible when... Sergi scored. If you would have taken a look at the sideline, they were all hitting each other and jumping all over the place, all the players that weren't on the field, and the celebration was going crazy. And, you know, that's what's fun about it being a team sport. Everybody celebrates it together when you win, and the unfortunate side of it is when you lose, everybody has to handle that, too, so... Exciting. Bob Nagel on the floor of the RCA Dome. Bob, if you can hear me, take it away. All right, Bruce Harris, congratulations. What a ball game. So much ebb and flow and so much emotion. Can you can you capitalize your thoughts? Uh, just an unbelievable season. Uh, these kids have been through so much. Uh, I've never, it's my 23rd year of coaching high school football. And I've never seen a group of kids have as much adversity as this group has had to deal with. Uh, what an awesome bunch. I'm blessed to be associated with them. They deserve this state championship. Got a little more adversity today. Your top running back goes down, and somebody not only steps in but steps up. What a performance. We talked to them all year long about dealing with adversity, and again, they, they've done that just over and over again all season long. We face adversity tonight in the second half. Again, what our, our top player goes down with injury and kids step up uh, and just make great plays. Uh, yeah, that, that was huge. Our defense stepped up in the second half when they had to also. Again, just I, I, I've never coached a group more deserving than this. I know when uh, Coach Schwarzkopf came over, you gave him a nice handshake and congratulations. Valiant effort by both these teams today. Chris has done a great job. Anytime a guy can step in in his first year as a head coach and uh, lead a team to a state championship game like this, well, what a great job by him. Obviously, Dwanger has a great tradition. Obviously, their coaches do a great job. I'm, I'm happy for him. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm happy for our kids to come away with a win. Well, you should be. Congratulations. I love winners when they cry and losers when they cry, and everybody's crying right now. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a happy cry. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Bruce Cypress, the head coach of Von Colley High School. They're the champions, and here's the young man. Uh, you're surging, you come in the ball game, you got an opportunity to not only step in, but step up. You got the job done. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. I knew that uh, we've gone through a lot of adversity this season, and the seniors won this one really bad after going starting 0 4. Nobody believed in us, and they didn't think the job could be done. I knew when Marks went out, I needed to step in and get the job done, so that's what I got in and did. 
got a lot of great senior leadership on this team, the guys that uh, wouldn't let you quit. 0-4 would have been easy to wrap up the tent and go home, but they uh, they wanted to have a special year, and you made it as special as it can be. Yeah. Exactly what I wanted to do. If they've been so good to me, I wanted to pay them back with that. I'll tell you what, a lot of emotion. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Jim Sergi scored the winning touchdown, and here's another one of the young men who did a great job. And uh, congratulations on the win. And uh, winning the state championship is so special, but to do it in this year, starting off 0-4. Oh, yeah, it's huge, man. We just always stuck with it and never quit. So this is what happened. <laughs> what about the leadership on the team, not only from the coaches, but also from the players? I mean, you guys had to reap down and dig down and get it done. Right. Well, I mean, our seniors, my class has been great all year. Juniors and sophomores just been going with us, stepping it up. We've always been keeping everybody up, you know. Things are looking bleak in this game, but we just didn't quit. <laughs> we didn't quit, and we got it done, baby. <laughs> Ryan Mahan with us, and Ryan, a lot of guys are on the sidelines banged up. Uh, they're taping up knees and ankles, and yet you guys just found a way to hang in there against a really good team today. <laughs> Yeah, man, Dwayne was great. Dwayne was great. At times they were beating us, at times we were beating them. Just so happened we come up at the end when it counts the most. So, I mean, and with the injuries, doesn't matter now. <laughs> Congratulations, state champion. Thank you. Right, Ron Colley having a great time. Dr. Uh, Nally is uh, with us now, and uh, what a tremendous season, what a tremendous year. And, and you come into this game, and you guys are going to run the ball, and uh, you got it done, and uh, what a battle against a good team from uh, Dwinger. Yeah, we uh, we came out running, and uh, my knee kind of got hurt a little. I wasn't able to go, but uh, hands down to Sergi, sophomore stepping up, huge. He's one of the main reasons we won this game. Coach was talking about all of the adversity you've overcome this year, and you had more of it. Obviously, you want to be in there in the final uh, drive. You want to have a chance to score the winning touchdown, but you're over there with your leadership on the bench and keeping everybody in it. What an emotional time for you. Yeah, I was hurting real bad just because just I came out. I wasn't able to play. Then Doc told me I wasn't going to be able to go back out there. I was hurt real bad. But once I, once I just put it in, I feel a lot better. I'm loving it now. Well, you should be. Congratulations. What a great year. Thank you. Marcus Nally, uh, very emotional. I'll tell you what a... What a tremendous uh, a, amount of emotion in this game on both sides, and both teams left everything on the field. And, fellas, that's what we we're looking for. What a great championship game. Wonderful job down there, Robert, and some great stories being told, Barry. And uh, it is quite emotional for those guys on the field. And, and let's talk about this emotion. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. And what happens is, yes, they won. Yes, they're excited. But you wonder why they're crying and why they're showing so much emotion is because they battled so far and they built this build this thing up and they hold it inside and you know the, all the anticipation and the expectations of coming in here and playing a good game and having to go to the end and all of a sudden realizing all the hard work all the sweat all the blood everything that you've done for the last three or four years depending on if you're a senior sophomore junior all of a sudden man it's all worth it and all of a sudden, you kind of let your defenses down. And I think the emotions just flow out. And you don't know what to do with it. No, Coach. Coach Cypress. Cypress. He's oh. been there, and he's seen a lot. But he was making me cry. I tell you, I don't I think he's been as touched. This is a solid group of guys. And talk about adversity. We mentioned earlier the fact that, you know, Marcus Nally's father died just a few weeks into the season during the midst of that very terrible time for the team. I mean, they lost four games early in the season, and Marcus loses his dad to a, a bout with cancer. And then in addition to that, I mean, if that's not bad enough, and that's as bad as it gets, believe me, the injuries that began to mount, the suspensions that also caused some teams to have some trouble, it, this is a miracle that's happened out here, and you can tell it on their faces. The emotions are high right now. Let's go back down to Bob Nagel. Robert? Thank you very much, Craig Tyler Warner here, the uh, SQ Mental Attitude Award winner. I'm not sure your mental attitude could be any better than it is right now. Oh, man, this is the greatest feeling of my life. I worked the last four years for this moment. We were down 11 points. It was tough. We almost thought we were out, but we never, we knew we'd always gonna keep fighting, and we came back and won. And this is the greatest game I've ever played in my life. You did a tremendous job, not only in the field, but in the classroom. and. Uh, with your behavior and your leadership in school, uh, they nominated you for this award. It's a great award. 
You think of all the, the time discipline management uh, issues you have as a student athlete. What a tremendous uh, tribute to the effort you gave. Uh, I mean, what was the question again? I'm sorry. I just say you, you did so much to handling the, the, the pressure in the classroom and also on the field. Oh, God. I mean, I've been, my dad, he told me he's made me been so disciplined ever since I was a little kid. I mean, it's tough to balance the school and football, but it's, all, it's, it's worth it. All this work for this moment right now. This is the greatest going ever, so. I want to bring your mom and dad in here. Come on in here. What, uh, introduce your starting lineup here. All right, this is uh, my mom, Teresa Warner, and my dad, Art Warner. Congratulations, folks. I, I know your buttons are popping. What a great day. We are oh, so proud of the entire team, absolutely. And what a wonderful day. We can finally give something back to Ron Colley. I'll tell you what, Dad, it's, it's a long road. You think of all the time you toss the football around in the living room, and your wife told you not to do that in the house and things like that, but what a, what a great feeling this must be. It's all worth it, sir. I mean, it's wonderful. It's, it's just, and Ron Colley, it's a great tool. The, the way these kids come together in Pirelli play and, and, and just achieve after their season is a remarkable season. It's a tribute to their coaching, the whole student body, and the whole Ron Colley community. Mom, Mom, were all those drives uh, dropping this kid off at practice worthwhile now and all the new shoes and washing those uniforms? Yeah, I would start again today. All right, well, a lot of mothers around the state are feeling the pride that you feel for this young man. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you, sir. All right, Tyler Warner. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Dad, congratulations. I'm not sure who's going to get that hardware the longest. I think Dad's going to hang on to it, too. That's a, a great family award and another great winner. And Tyler Warner and all the folks from Montcali feeling great. And, and the thing that makes you know this game meant so much to Wenger is how bad they are feeling, but not about the effort they gave. It was tremendous. Greg and... Uh, Who's your partner up there? Is he still uh, is he still looking for good linebackers up there? I don't think he's looking for any tough guys. Uh, you know, he's crying. I, I can't control it. Uh, the Barry may not speak for the rest of the telecast. This guy's a basket case watching the pictures from the field here at the RCA Dome. Uh, th this is quite a scene, Barry. This is neat. Yeah, it is. And, um, you know, this is a tough line right here. This is the runner up. This guy, but that doesn't mean they're any less a champion than Ron Colley because they battled through it and they've had their adversity and you know they've been able to make some things happen and like you said and like we all talk about they've had to go a long way to get here and a lot of teams aren't here and they are and the better team won that's just the way it is and that's what you thrive for in competition and what drives you back you know for these young kids that may be sophomores juniors that are going to be coming back for Fort Wayne, this feeling right now is going to drive them to through the whole offseason and give them the motivation to get back here again. Good point. Well, we're going to take a break and wrap it up here with the Rebels. A huge win. 24-21 the final. This is IHSAA Television Network Sports. Back in the moment. Here is